Hello, my name is Sean Copeland and I'm Chairman and CEO of Regent Bank and welcome to our Leading with Love series here in Regent Elevate. And we've been talking about the importance of being a leader, particularly right now, that leads with love and we're using 1 Corinthians chapter 13 as our model for how to lead with love. So we've talked about the importance of a leader being patient, kind, trustworthy, selfless. And today we're going to talk about the importance of being forgiving releasing the grip of the grudge where you just cannot let it go and maybe it is toward others and so it, it you bring with you a spirit of frustration and bitterness uh, to work or maybe it's an employee that you have who has made a mistake somewhere along the way maybe they left and came back or you know they did something that cost you some money letting that go this is kind of like the uh, Disney musical uh, let it go we, we've just got to learn to not hold grudges we've all had here's the deal we've all had people do us wrong I've had uh, employees who I've helped personally on a financial level leave me right after I helped them financially. I've had uh, former employers who I thought I had a great relationship with sue me. Um, I've had rumors spread about me. I mean, none of us are, um, you know, protected from uh, challenges and people quote unquote doing us wrong. The question is not what are they going to do, it's what are you going to do? you know and and how are you going to live a life in which you live with love and you just cannot lead with love when you are feeling bitterness um, and unforgiveness so so as it relates to managing when you have an employee who um, uh, makes a mistake maybe they we have a set of core values here at Regent that are very very important to us and we have a rule that if you break one of those core values let's just take our main one show you care if someone is yelling screaming being ugly to another employee they get one warning and then on the second warning they are um, asked to go find another place of employment and I think that that one warning is very, very important because why? We all make mistakes. I mean, if I was held um, hostage for every mistake that I have made as a leader, I mean, our employees would be carrying around all kind of baggage. I mean, so it's, I think it's very important for us to, to cleanse our uh, soul of unforgiveness both for employees and for others, and move forward in a new and fresh way. We want to be firm as a leader. Uh, next time we're going to talk about being principled, and we do want to be principled, but we also want to have a soft heart and lead with our heart and try to help those who may be having challenges as opposed to just firing them and uh, sticking them out to fend for themselves. So uh, let's lead with forgiveness. Let's, be, let's lead with uh, compassion and caring uh, toward our people. And we will be back here next week with our final uh, character uh, ingredient to be a leader with love. Thank you so much for joining us.